hello guys welcome back to the channel in today's video guys i'll be showing you guys how to make soy milk without adding sugar how to make a very healthy soy milk without adding sugar in this video i'll be using dates as my sweetener so please if you are interested please keep watching okay let's get right into the video so guys to make the soy milk all you need to do is to get your soybeans this is the one i'll be using I'll open it and I'll go ahead and add about 2 cups of soybeans into the bowl. Then after adding 2 cups of soybeans into the bowl, I'll go ahead and add water. I'll add 1 cup of water to it. Now I'll transfer it into the blender and blend. I'll blend it with the lowest speed, okay? I'll blend with the lowest speed. I'm blending it because I want to peel the skin. I want to peel off the skin. And this is the easiest way I used to do that. So I'll blend, then I'll pour it into the I'll pour it in I'll pour it into another bowl. Then also I'll blend the remaining one. So I'm done blending, I'll pour it into the bowl again. Now it's time to go ahead and sieve the skin. It will be easy for me now to sieve the skin. Some people prefer to soak it overnight before they peel off the skin, but this method is very easy for me. Yeah, as I'm pouring out the water, the skin is coming out with the water. As you can see, the skin of the beans um, is coming out with the water. So now I'm done taking out the skin of the beans. The next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and add fresh water to these beans. Then I'll leave it for the next day. I'll leave it for the next day before I make use of it. So this is the next day guys. The beans is now soft and it has increased in size. As you can see, did you see? It's now soft. So the next thing I'll do here is I'll go ahead and sieve out the water then once that is done i will transfer it into the blender then i'll add fresh water and blend it now I'll add one cup of water to it and blend blend until smooth you have to make sure that you blend it very well so that the milk will come out so now i'm done blending it i'll get a pot then get a chiffon cloth if you have a cheese bag you can use the uh, cheese bag to do this okay here i'll be using chiffon cloth now i'll go ahead and pour in the blended beans into the chiffon cloth then i'll go ahead and blend the rest of the beans So now I'm done blending it, I'll go ahead and squeeze out the milk. But before I do that, this is very thick. I'll go ahead and add a little more water to it before sieving it. So this is the chaff I got from sieving it. Then the next stage here is to go ahead and boil the soy milk. Please boil it in a 
in a low heat okay the heat shouldn't be much so that it will not burn okay so now as as the soy milk is cooking i'll go ahead and prepare my date here i'll be using soft date look at it as you can see it's a wet one if you'll be using dry one soak it overnight before using it okay so it, so you can be able to blend it before blending it i'll go ahead and remove the seed If you don't remove the seed, this seed can, can destroy your blender, okay? Just make sure you remove the seeds before blending it and this is it. Now I'm done, I'll go ahead and, and stir the soy milk to make sure that it's not burning. You have to continuously stir it to avoid burning, okay? Now I'll go ahead and add warm water to the date. And once that is done, I'll cover it and blend until smooth. Now I'm done blending it, I'll go ahead and set it aside. So the next thing here is coconut. I have my coconut, I'll be using one coconut. So I'll go ahead and break this coconut. Oh, this is so hard to break. <laughs> ah, finally I did it. So after breaking the coconut, I'll go ahead and remove the... and, bring, and get it out from the shell. As I'm doing that, I'll be adding it into the blender. Then after removing all the coconut flesh, I'll go ahead and pour warm water into the blender. Then I'll blend it until smooth. This is what I have. Now I'll go ahead and pour warm water to it. And I'll go ahead and blend. So after blending it, I'll go ahead and sieve it. You can choose to skip coconut milk, okay? But this coconut milk, oh my god, it takes this soy milk to the next level, guys. Yes, I know most of you um, might have not tried this method, but I tell you, this will take the soy milk to the next level. The aroma and everything is heavenly. Just try it. The flavor is something else. So after saving the coconut milk, you go ahead and set it aside also. So move over to the boiling soy milk. Now it's getting ready. Once you start, once you start to see this slimy, um, slimy like something on top of the soy milk, just know that it's getting ready. Okay. Also continue to stir. So now this is about 40 minutes or so. It's now ready. As you all can see, the soy milk is now ready. Then the next thing I will do is I'll go ahead and add the blended date. This date this date will serve as a sweetener. Okay, after adding the date, I don't need to add sugar anymore. At this point, if you want to add anything like um, any flavor, like vanilla flavor, you can go ahead and do that right now. So after adding the date, you go ahead and mix it very well. So after mixing, you take it off the cooker. So I'll go ahead and add the soy, um, sorry, I'll go ahead and add the coconut milk. Then once that is done, I'll mix it. After mixing, I'll get a bowl. Then I'll place my chiffon cloth on top of it. Then I'll transfer the soy milk into the chiffon cloth. This is the final sieving. I'm doing this to make sure that there is no any form of lumps in this.
this is still very hot that's why i'm using spatula to to squeeze it i tried using my hand <laughs> so now i'm done and this is what we'll have this is this is it this is how you can make soy milk without adding sugar this is how you can make soy milk using date as your sweetener okay now i'll go ahead and transfer it into this clean bottle as you can see this is very thick if you don't like it this thick you can go ahead and add more water to it So once I fill the bottle, I'll cover it and put it in the fridge to cool down. So this is the next day guys and it has cooled down. Oh my goodness, this is a chilled soy milk. What I have right here is chilled soy milk and it's so, so nice. It tastes so, so good. Ah, the flavor is wow. The coconut flavor is wow. I didn't add vanilla flavor because I already used coconut milk that's why so did you see how thick it is did you see if you don't like the thickness you can go ahead and add more water to it okay so guys that is it please if you enjoyed watching this video kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you